All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best swing for senior golfers. All right, guys, so let's talk about the best swing for senior golfers. Now, this is a video we've been wanting to do for a long time now. A lot of you guys and gals have questions about how would you adjust the swing for senior golfers, and I want to talk about that today. I want to show you a couple things that I would do, adjustments I would make if you're a senior golfer or someone who lacks flexibility, what should you adjust? I want to give you a couple of drills to do so. So the first thing I want to talk about in terms of a senior golfer or someone who lacks flexibility, the main thing or the main area that affects you in is how your body works, right? So as you get older, as I get older, as we all get older, our body maybe doesn't work as well as it used to. We wake up with aches and pains, maybe we can't move as fast, we can't turn as much, et cetera, et cetera. So let's focus first on how the body works. Now, as you get older, the main thing with the body that doesn't work quite as well as maybe we want to, the first thing would be rotation, right? So the older you get or the less flexible you are, maybe you can't quite rotate your body as much, either on the way back or on the way through. Are there some mechanical things you could do to increase the rotation relative to where you are? Absolutely, but are you, as a 75-year-old guy who works out once a week, gonna rotate like a 25-year-old kid who works out every day and has a chiropractor and a trainer with them all the time on PJ Tour? Probably not, okay? So when we talk about these rotation amounts, you don't have to hit those. This swing model I wanna talk about today is for those of you who, let's say, hey, we're not gonna try and rotate exactly like all the guys on the PGA Tour. We wanna get closer to it, okay? But if I just simply lack the flexibility to do so, and I'm, I'm at an age where I don't feel like doing the work required to change that, I just wanna play the best with what I have, here's what I would do. Number one is I wouldn't focus as much for you on trying to get the rotation in the forward swing. I would focus on getting the rotation during the back swing. And this is specifically for senior golfers. We're gonna launch a rotation product in a couple of weeks because that's how strongly I think all of you guys should rotate if you choose to do the work or if you're physically capable of it. But if you get over an age you don't want to, I would focus on the back swing more than the follow through. So a couple setup adjustments I would suggest to do that. When I take my normal setup position, there's two things to look at. Number one is my stance, okay, and the direction of my stance. So the more my stance is square, my rotation is neutral. The more my stance is open to the left, that would promote more rotation in the follow through, but less rotation during the backswing. The more my rotation, or the more my stance is to the right or closed, that would promote rotation during the backswing, but less rotation during the follow through. So again, square would just be neutral. The more open my stance, the more rotation the follow through, but harder to rotate as much going back. The more closed my stance line, easier to rotate going back, but harder to rotate coming through. So if we just got done saying as a senior golfer, don't worry as much about the follow through rotation, focus on getting enough rotation as you go back, which one of those would we want to use? We would wanna use the closed stance line where your right foot is a little bit farther back because I wanna focus on at least getting a full turn on the way back. I don't wanna lose turn on both sides, but if we can have turn on one, let's get turn going back. I would have the stance line a little bit to the right. How do you do that? You take your normal setup position and then you pull that right foot back and push your left foot forward. So you're gonna have a little bit, again, of a closed stance line. So from here, I would set up normal. My left foot goes a little forward, my right foot goes a little back. So I'd be aimed, you know, a little bit to the right of the target, nothing extreme to help the turn. That's part one. Part two will be what we would call foot flare. So in terms of my foot, I can have my foot straight on like this. I can have it turned in or I can have it turned out. In terms of my right foot, if it's square, it's neutral. If it's turned in, I can turn the least. If it's turned out, I can turn the most. So same thing from this side, if my foot's straight on, it's neutral. Foot's in, I can turn the least. Foot's out, I can turn the most. So again, if we want more turn going back, which one of those do we want? We want to have the foot turned out because that will help me turn the most. You see what I'm doing here? Okay, more rotation during the backswing. So we have two things so far. We have a stance line 
that's a little bit closed to the right, and we have a foot flare that's a little bit um, flared out to the right. Both of those things designed to make sure you turn back. Now, when we shift our aim, if I aim more to the right, or aim more to the left, or from this side, if I aim more to the right, or aim more to the left, it also changes the ball position relative to my swing arc, meaning the more I aim to the right like I want you to and flare your right foot, effectively I need to move the ball more back in my stance to have the same low point. So you'll notice as you close your stance, the ball is going to feel too far forward compared to where it normally is because your body lines and your swing arc have changed. They've tilted to the right. Your swing circle is now to the right. The low point's farther back. So I'm going to move the ball back a little bit. How far? Don't know. Play around with it. Maybe an inch or two compared to normal until it feels more centered. So from this side, same things would apply. Here's my normal. I'm going to get my feet to the right. I'm going to flare my right foot. And I'm going to have the ball position just a little bit farther back um, than normal, which will really, really be the middle of my stance. I'll go ahead and hit one from here. So that would be, um, that would be the setup adjustments I would make again as a senior golfer. The point being more rotation on the way back for the purpose of having enough speed and hitting the ball far enough when you go play. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about a couple of different things during the backswing and downswing to help aid that, but I wanted to go through those setup pieces thoroughly because those are important in terms of you understanding why you're doing what you're doing. So part number two of this now is gonna be how the club and swing direction work. Now I've got my buddy the noodle back here, like we use in a lot of our videos for a swing direction guide. The baseline idea, big picture and simple, is we're presetting the setup and gonna preset everything else we do based on trying to get the club for you guys working in a draw pattern, okay? If we're gonna give up some of the body rotation in the follow through, we're gonna preset a swing direction that works more from the inside, gonna exit more to the right, gonna be a little bit higher than normal, and maybe even have a little bit more arm rotation than normal, and all of that is to maximize what you guys have. So this is presetting a draw pattern. So if I take my normal setup, I'm gonna put this noodle in, just like all of our other videos, I'm not gonna go into as much in terms of how to set it up, because we've done that 900 million times, or if you watch a live video, we often do that as well on Mondays at five. Um, but I have this set up for me to guide my downswing swing direction. So I'm gonna take my setup, I'm gonna preset the two things we said were important. Stance line more to the right, right foot flared, ball position slightly farther back, okay? Now what I wanna do with this is I wanna feel basically a normal backswing pattern. I'm gonna make sure that I get enough body turn and some kind of depth when I go back, but I'm not as concerned with that as I am, let's make sure this club head works underneath the noodle. We're gonna make sure that it exits more to the right, and you're actually gonna probably have a finish that goes more through your neck. If you watch our older videos, you see I really like a checkpoint for normal swings between the left shoulder and the rib cage when the club reappears in the follow through, exiting more around your body. As a senior golfer, because we're giving up some of that rotation in the follow through, you're not gonna exit as far left, you're gonna exit to the right. I'll show you another drill for that in a second. So the things I want you to focus on with this first, again, same things. I'm gonna take my setup to the right, flare my foot ball back, and I'm gonna feel what it feels like to get that club head working underneath this noodle on both sides. And you're gonna feel when you do this that you get a bunch of turn going back and the club head should feel as though it's working not necessarily so much more back inside during your backswing. It will a little because you're preset, you know, because you're aimed to the right, but really working from inside and exiting a lot more to the right and a lot higher than normal. Kind of presetting a little bit of a, a kind of flippy draw motion on purpose. So aiming to the right, right, uh, right foot flared, ball position back, working that thing in, getting it out to the right and high in the follow through, not being shy with my arm rotation. Feeling the same pieces. Good. And the goal here is to kind of, again, get that kind of going hook motion. So I'll do one more with this. And because we're giving up the body rotation, because we're giving up this, that's a speed producer, right? What we want to have is make sure we have body extension. I'm not as concerned if you're a senior golfer with you having early extension. And in fact, it might be beneficial for you to have a little early extension. Let me rephrase that. You're probably gonna have a little early extension look 
because we need speed. Extension is a speed thing. The only reason it's early extension is because you haven't turned before you extended. And I just got done telling you, you're not going to turn before you extend. So don't be worried about having a little look like this exiting to the right. Might not hit it perfect every single time, but that's okay. We want to maximize distance. This is going to allow you with the extension in the swing direction to hit the ball higher, carry it farther, have it roll more, and have a predictable draw pattern. So those are all things you should be able to score pretty good with. So stance line close, right foot flare, ball a little bit back, feeling myself working under the noodle to the right, allowing some arm rotation, allowing my body to extend into the follow through playing a kind of going draw pattern. So I would expect good shots and pushes, some hooks along with this. <clears throat> this is station number one I would use. I'm gonna show you station number two here in a second. Station number two for this senior pattern now is we keep the noodle in, but instead of having it behind me as an aid to swing from the inside, I now put it in front of me as an aid to make sure I swing and have my swing direction more to the right. So what I do when I set this up, again, I'm not gonna go through the setup as thoroughly because it's in some other videos. Uh, it's in the how to fix a weak fade pattern video. You can see that. I want to put it in my way so that in my follow through, it's making me feel as though my club head and the shaft are working more to the right of this being my target line. So I just have it in there, you know, roughly the same angle as the club, about two to three feet in front of me. The goal being not to have this pattern where I go to the left. As a senior golfer, if you're not flexible, and we're not gonna get the rotation on the way through. The only way you would have a left swing direction is if you're too far over the top and your body stays too forward flexed. If you watch our videos, you know that that means short distance, okay? The older you get and the slower your club head speed, the less you can afford to stay really bent over and swing to the left. Can Dustin Johnson and Bush Kepka do that with 125 miles per hour? Absolutely. If you have 70 miles per hour or 90 or 80, you can't do that. You need to go this way to create some speed, okay? It's gonna be flip hooky. Some of you guys aren't gonna to like to hear that, but that's the reality. You need some extension. You need some right. You need some arm rotation. We need to get the face close to the path. You'd be much better off trying to play good golf with that than fixing that. Anyway, normal setup position. Got my stick in front. I'm gonna be aimed to the right. Right foot flared, ball a little bit back. Feeling a good amount of turn during my backswing, getting the club head working inside, not worrying about extending, and I'm letting my club head exit to the right and letting the face turn down a little bit, playing that going hook pattern. And that's the deal with that. So I'm doing these with eight iron swing kind of full. I do this for a living. You should probably take a club, go shorter as always, right? Swing a little bit shorter, slower speed, work your web, maybe start with a sand wedge. If you've been hitting a fade or slice pattern, start really slow and short. Um, but these are the things I would do. Part number one is understand that chasing body rotation during your follow through. If you're older and don't wanna put the work in to do that, I would not go down that, that, that road. If you're 30 or 35 or you're older and have flexibility, then yes, do the rotation drills, do the rotation masterclass, that's good for you. But if you don't wanna do that work, or you're a little bit older, maybe don't do that, but you must maximize the turn going back and you must maximize body extension on the way through. Let me say that again. You must maximize turn going back and you must maximize extension on the way through. We wanna make your swing direction more inside out. The slower your club head speed, the more your swing direction should be inside out to maximize getting the ball up in the air high enough so you can hit it far enough to effectively play the course and have fun. If your club head speed's low and you hit way down on the ball or swing way left, the ball's not gonna go anywhere. You, the only way you can do that is if your speed's really high. So these are two drills I would use with someone in person. I would check that how to fix a weak fade video while I do this station and really emphasize the arm rotation. Get the club face close to the path. Get a hook pattern going. Are you gonna hit some hooks when you play? Absolutely, what a beautiful problem that is. You wanna have that pattern for distance. So those are the things, remember, turn during the backswing, use body extension, swing direction to the right. If you guys have any questions with that, leave me a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, please do me a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell if you haven't. Also, please subscribe. If you guys do want more instruction from me, tailored for you, check out GaborneGolf.com. The link is in the description down below. Thank you guys.